Hello, welcome to our presentation on creating accessible Word documents, basic techniques. This session is presented by the Support Service for People with Disabilities of the Library and Information Centre of Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. An accessible document is a document designed and formatted in a way that ensures that all users, including those with disabilities, can read, navigate, and understand its content. Accessible documents are compatible with assistive technologies like screen readers, braille displays, and speech-to-text software that people with disabilities use in order to read the content. We will talk about the benefits and purpose of creating an accessible Word document. We will see the basic anatomy of an accessible Word document and share some best practices for putting them into action. There are many reasons why to create our documents accessible. The main reason is that accessibility ensures that everyone can access the document's information. It promotes the inclusivity goals of our institution and spreads the culture of accessibility and awareness. Also, a Word document serves as a master file for creating other accessible formats. This means that accessibility characteristics added in a Word document will be automatically transferred to other forms of files, PDF, EPUB, etc., making them accessible as well. So, here you can see the main structure of an accessible Word document. But first, let's try to explore what are the best practices we can follow. We prefer to use sans serif fonts like Arial, Calibri, Tahoma, etc., as they are more readable and less decorative. The minimum font size we use is 12 points, with a line spacing of at least 1.5. We want to create a structured and easy to navigate document. The use of headings adds structure to the document, allows navigation, and makes sure it meets accessibility standards. We use the bullets and numbering feature to create lists in the Word document. The list numbers or bullets should not be manually typed. We should add alternative text to pictures so that blind and low vision users can understand the non-textual content. Alt text information should be precise and explanatory. Also, text boxes and watermarks should be avoided. We try to make tables as simple as possible. We use Word's built-in tools to create and design tables. We avoid merging, splitting, or leaving cells empty. It is also important to define column headers to enable smooth content navigation. When including hyperlinks in the document, we change the display text to something that can be easier to understand. Text color alone should not be used to show information in a document. We ensure proper color contrast and avoid placing similar colors together to maintain readability. At the end, we can use the Accessibility Checker tool to find accessibility issues in our Word document. The tool defines areas of the document that need remediation and suggests actions in order to improve accessibility. Issues are categorized into errors, warnings, and tips. Now, let's put everything into practice. I've prepared a simple document that is not currently accessible. We'll try to apply the steps we discussed earlier to improve its accessibility. This document has two pages with text, pictures, and tables. Let's start by looking at the text. The font is Times New Roman, which is not the best choice for accessibility. To make it easier to read, select all the text and change the font to an accessible one, in that case, Calibri. Then ensure that the text size is 12 points and check the line spacing is at least 1.5. Next, try to create headings. 
After reading the document, from Word Styles tool, choose the right headings for the document structure. Now let's move on to creating lists. To do this, go to the Home tab and choose either Bullets or Numbering from the Paragraph section. Using lists helps organise information clearly, making your content easier to read and follow. Then try to see if there are any images in the document and add an alternative text to describe them. A screen reader will read out all the descriptions, so add alternative text where it is important to understand the contents of the image. Other images can be described as decorative. If the document contains a table, review its accessibility. Are there any split or merge cells? Is there a properly defined header row? As you can see, this table doesn't have a header row. Let's add one and mark it as the header. To edit the table, use the Table tool section on the ribbon. Always use column headers and clearly mark the header row, because headers assist users of assistive technology in navigating the table without missing content. In order to create meaningful hyperlinks, create descriptive links, not URLs. To do that, right-click the hyperlink on the document. Then choose Edit Hyperlink. In the text to display box, type a description and click OK. You can also change the colour of the text in order to ensure that it contrasts well with the background. Once you've finished editing, use the Accessibility Checker tool to find any accessibility problems in the Word document. Look for the Check Accessibility button on the File Info button. In the Check for Issues drop-down menu, select Check Accessibility. If you find issues, try to fix them and run the checker again. If there are no problems, you're ready to save and share your document. Thank you for joining our session on Creating Accessible Word Documents – Basic Techniques. We hope this presentation has provided you with useful strategies to make your documents more accessible and inclusive.
For further support or any questions, please don't hesitate to contact the Support Service for People with Disabilities of the Library and Information Centre of Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. Website http emia Telephone plus 32 3109953700. Email ameasupe.org. Ort at lib.auth.gr.